This is what the outside of my house looks like. It's very nice. Blue, gray. Hi everyone. Um, happy Beltane Eve. So in this video I was going to be getting ready for my um, big Beltane celebration. And I thought I'd just take you guys along. Now this video is going to start with me transplanting some seedlings into pots for the spring. But then I accidentally left them sunning for too long and they burnt to a crisp. So I'm going to be sowing the seeds right now. So I've got four pots, some potting soil. No, it says brine, but it also says potting soil. And then I've got my seeds. Let's get dirty. Alright, so you're going to want to take some handfuls of your potting soil and put it in your pot. Being sure to make sure that there are no rocks. Is that a rock? No, that's not a rock. We're good. Alright, and fill them up like the rest of these. And then I got my seeds. I got lavender, and basil, nope, that's sage, and uh, basil, and echinacea. Alright, so they normally have a little thing that says the seed depth, and so what I like to do is just put it... One second. One second. One second. Be patient, I'm opening this. One second. One second. Alright, so I grab a couple of seeds. I hear myself grabbing some seeds. And what I do is I put them onto the pot and then I just sort of mix it up the approximate depth so that way it's kind of evenly scattered. And then all you gotta do is water and you're good to go. Yeah! Hey guys, sorry for the terrible lighting, but I thought I would give you a little tour of my altar. So this used to house my um, fish tank. My fish died about a month ago. And I just now got rid of that and, uh, you know, let them be on their way. Alright. So, let's start in the back. So I've got a black pillar candle for the goddess and a short little stumpy white one um, from Bed Bath & Beyond. No, from Bath & Body Works, I mean. That's called Spring. No, 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 that one's called Lilac Blossoms. The green one's called Spring. And so that's the god candle. And then this way is west, so we have water. I have two shells that I got um, off of the Pacific Coast when I was in San Francisco, which I will tell you about someday. And then I have some dried roses because roses are lovely. Love, Beltane, and flowers and... Yeah, there isn't much actually blooming quite yet in the full bloom. Everything's still nubs or dandelions. And then I also have a black walnut and an acorn, which are also signs of fertility. Now let's move on to north, earth. Um, the only thing that I have that's north is my salt. All of my rocks, all of my gems and stuff, I have a lot of them, are all around here. I've got amethyst and rose quartz and... That's smoky quartz, and black bear that's ruleless something, 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 and snowflake obsidian, I don't quite know. Two tiger's eye, and let's see, some ametrine, and some numite, and some tuluminated quartz, and some smoky quartzes, and some moonstone, and bloodstone, and citrine, and yeah. Alright, east, I have a feather that my grandfather gave to me. Um, he wanted me to use them to make quills because I had just gotten back from Colonial Williamsburg and I really was interested in those. And then I also have my wand, which I can give you a little tour of later. Here I have a fairy, a little statue that I got from a gardening store. And so this one little just watches over. And since uh, the fae... Um, the veil is very thin. She's coming out to the altar. And then on the south side fire, I've got my spring, and then I've got my red candle that I made by melting a candle with a hair dryer, and that got really messy. And don't do that. And then in the center, I have my candle. It's got like frankincense and myrrh and sandalwood and stuff on it, and then it also has a couple little bits of mint and stuff that I burned in it and I got this at a pagan shop or actually a metaphysical shop 
Then I also sprinkled some, uh, might be lavender, might also be Russian sage, not completely sure, that I harvested last year and ate some of in cookies. So no one's dead yet, but I sprinkled that around too. And so yeah, that's my Beltane altar.